G'day folks. I'm just sorting stuff out today and I've got a couple of packages come in. I'm quite pleased with that. Um, I bought myself some uh, more pressure gauges. Refrigerant gauges to be precise. I know some of you are going to say I shouldn't have them because I'm not actually certified but hey, I don't go working on other people's systems. These are mainly just so I can do hobby work. Connect up to other systems, use LPG and automotive systems, that sort of stuff. Lots of experimental things you can do without breaking the law. So, yeah, I've got the quick release fittings for R134A automotive. I've got the manifold set, which does all different types R22, R410A, R134A, you name it. It does feel a little bit cheap, but overall, for $99, I'm not going to complain. Uh, I think there's about six feet of hose in there. And a hanger. Yeah, it looks like about six foot of hose. 99 bucks off eBay. The seller was in Australia, shipped overnight. Fantastic. And something which also came way too late. I ordered these weeks ago. I decided to get a couple of <laughs> a stop soaper t-shirt for myself and for a friend, but well, and so I think it's a little bit too late for the soaper bill. They kind of shot that down in flames two weeks after I ordered these t-shirts. So it doesn't matter, I'll still wear them anyway to show I cared. We've also got um, another more malicious bill on the cards as well. So I ordered them from Jinx, where I used to get me World of Warcraft stuff from. I don't play WoW anymore, I play Minecraft and Terraria and all that good stuff. So I thought I'd throw a couple of these in just for shits and giggles. I rarely play Minecraft, so don't ask me to set up a server or anything, it's not going to happen. But I figured I um, might stick one on the computer case or the back window of the car, who knows. So yeah. That's what we got in, and I'm just sorting out a reason why some people might not be able to get in contact with me. This damn computer keeps cracking the shits. But I think it was because I chucked a bit of extra RAM in it the other night. I chucked this old, just trash fine 256 meg DDR2 in it. Now it's only got one gig of DDR2 at the moment. And I think that's probably why. It's just an, it's an old stick I've had kicking around for ages. And it, everything told me it was just a RAM crash. Like it just lock up the screen and go a bit pixelated and then it stop. I've seen that plenty of times, it's usually RAM. But I'm just reseating everything as I go along. Um, can't stuff a bigger graphics card, or at least not this graphics card in here, because this is a BTX board. And it's going to put the second part of the card right on top of my connectors and things, so I can't stuff this nice big graphics card in here. It's a Asus... Um, what was this one? This is a 8600GT. Nice card. DDR3 RAM on it, 256 meg, I think. Or oh, no, DDR2. Uh, not really much point upgrading the sound on this, but you can stack them in here. And of course, in a BTX, your component side is up. Not like a normal ATX, which has your card with the component side down. They're a little bit odd. Very rare and odd. Uh, this is an IBM, of course. IBM uses them quite a lot. Think Santa, Pentium 4 with hyper threading. Not really a true dual core, but it does the job. And it's got four DDR2 RAM slots, so I could chuck a ton of RAM in that. Plenty of SATA ports, it's got four SATA ports. Um, yeah, I could upgrade the hell out of this thing, really. Only thing it's really missing... Nah. As long as I can stuff a good graphics card in this, I could upgrade the hell out of it. Don't know about the heat, the cooler. It's got one of those heat pipe and um, alley fin array coolers on it with a big four and a half inch fan in front of it so I've never had any temperature problems with these not here not at work I got this one from work it was one of the last that we threw out uh, this little thing here small super compact case I might even make a little cut out with a basically a bulge sticking out of it just to house a proper full profile graphics card because the board in this thing will accept any normal profile graphics card it's just the case won't and this is the um, Pentium D just like I think an early dual core or something. They're not a bit, not a half bad CPU after all, but it's only got two DDR2 RAM slots. So either one of these PCs could be used for editing. Uh, a good subscriber and friend of mine in the states is sending me a good graphics card and some RAM and stuff as a donation. Um, we'll show you that and give him a good shout out when it arrives. I believe I think his name was Narcoti. Can't quite remember. Yeah, it was, Narcoti. I've got so many people offering me stuff right now, it's not, not funny. 
And that's another thing I get asked about donations and things. Um, I'm not a non-profit organisation. I don't want to set up to do monetary donations. I still have to pay tax on them, of course. Um, yeah, but equipment donations are always appreciated. Whether it's a dual core mainboard and CPU like one person's offered me or a whole PC or something like that. But just remember that shipping is expensive. Even if you're offering to pick up on shipping, if you want to send something like this from Europe or the States, forget about it. It'll cost you an arm and a leg. I can pick this stuff over, up over here for a lot less than it'd cost you to ship it. But the gesture is always appreciated anyway. So yeah, that's what's happening. This computer's broken. It should be up and running shortly. I believe it's just that bad RAM stick. If not, I'll uh, try and get in contact with my friend some other way. Because I do have applications and things on this hard drive that I want to use, and I'll evidently have to recover them to another PC if this one doesn't work again. And that's the only problem with second-hand hardware. You spend ages recovering hard drives after something breaks. But the hard drive in this isn't second-hand. It's a brand-new old stock IDE, so... I might just upgrade to a SATA. What did I have a SATA on? Oh, the CD-ROM, that's right. I didn't have a spare SATA hard drive, but I had a spare SATA DVD-ROM, so I just swapped the two around. So the hard drive's running off the um, CD-ROM's normal um, ATA-100 ribbon. So, yeah. Thanks for watching.